Hi, I'm Mike Capazzola from the Investing Channel, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. Once again, insider selling has far outweighed purchases this week, with 175 separate notable insider sales recorded compared to just four purchases. What's more, there were 56 insider sales by individuals or entities that own 10% more of the stocks under our coverage. That figure compared to just five purchases. Though that shortlist did include the second largest deal of the week in the shape of a $463.85 million purchase of shares in Cody, the fragrance and cosmetics business by Cottage Hold Co. BV. That trade is part of a $1.75 billion deal that sees JAB Holdings, the owners of Cottage Hold Co., become Cody's largest shareholders. JAB Holdings is also currently trying to spin out Dunkin' Brands, the parent of Dunkin' Donuts, via a multi-billion dollar IPO. We're looking elsewhere for inspiration this week, however, and have focused on the world of marketing and business communications. Few companies in this space have the heritage that R.R. Donnelly does. Founded in Chicago back in 1864, the business operates from 200 locations in 28 countries and employs 33,000 staff. R.R. Donnelly is involved in all facets of corporate communications and messaging, from asset utilization through to managing workflow, packaging, and supply chains. It also offers customer design and creative services as well as printing alongside online marketing, data analytics, and consumer experience feedback, which are essential yardsticks in the world of e-commerce. R.R. Donnelly's customers are drawn from sectors such as financial services, grocery, healthcare, retail, travel and hospitality, and it has products specifically tailored to those industry segments. The company aims to allow its customers to optimize their engagement with end markets and consumers by streamlining their operations and customer journeys. In its recent Q1 2021 earnings report, which was published in late April, the company announced sales of $1.17 billion for the quarter with a net income of $25.1 million in Q1. Both of those figures were lower than the corresponding numbers from 2020, however. Some of the shortfalls can be explained by the closure of operations in Chile, associated foreign exchange impacts, and the ongoing effects of COVID-19 on its end clients, many of which are based outside the USA. However, it's also fair to point out that 2020 itself was a record year for the company in terms of sales, which came in at $4.8 billion. R.R. Donnelly's strategy for the coming year and beyond is to exit low-margin businesses, rationalize its internal structures and functions across all segments to remove overlaps and duplications, while at the same time reducing overall debts and business expenses. The market segments that have the biggest growth potential are data and analytics and digital agency services. These markets are expected to grow at annual compound rates of 17.2% and 9.7% respectively, compared to just 2.3% for the company's commercial printing activities. The future for the business is clearly digital. 71% of R.R. Donnelly's clients have been customers for four years or more, and the group sees opportunities to do increased business with this loyal customer base. And it also wants to do more with 9,000 newer customers who have been with the company for less than three years. 13.3% of the client base are accounts that are one year old or less, for example. Many of R.R. Donnelly's clients are blue chip companies and household brands. So if they can extract new business from the current clients, the numbers could be significant. The potential for improvement and change at R.R. Donnelly has not been lost on one of its major shareholders, the rather secretive Chatham Asset Management LLC, a New Jersey-based hedge fund that's perhaps best known as the owner of tabloid National Enquirer. Over the last week, Chatham Asset Management bought just over 90,000 shares in the company at an average price, a fraction over $6.35. If we look back over the last month, however, we find out that Chatham has been buying the stock since the 19th of May, during which time they have purchased 1.738 million shares for consideration of just over $9.7 million. What's also very obvious when we look at these earlier transactions is just how well the stock has performed since they started buying. On the 19th of May, Chatham paid just $5.29 a share for 523,000 shares in R.R. Donnelly and bought a further 663,889 at $5.61 just two days later. Over the last month, the shares have rallied by 43.27%, and over six months, the stock is up by 396.7%. The stock is currently trading at around $6.69, just below its two-year highs at $6.80, which coincidentally was also the high in 2016. Before that, R.R. Donnelly stock had traded up to $24.64, 
And while Chatham Asset Management has timed its recent purchases very well, I think we can assume that the hedge fund is looking for a far bigger return on its investment, and that makes R.R. Donnelly a very interesting stock indeed. That's all we have time for today. Please make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.